Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20 Carbs. Loving it! Anyway, um, in my non-scale victory, I had two other items that, duh, I should have written it down, but I didn't. One is bloating. Are you a person that suffers from bloat? And when they say to have more water to aid with the bloating, and it just makes you even bigger. Oh, that feeling of being a beached whale in the summer with the humidity. No, no. So with the lower carbs, one of the things that does go away is bloating. And that is big for me. I don't know if any of you suffer from bloat. That should come from nowhere, but it still does. Yeah, that'll take care of that. And the other non-scale victory is... <laughs> can't believe I'm sitting here forgetting it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Duh! Sugar cravings. Gone. Satiety comes back in. Maybe you never experienced satiety before. I sure didn't. I had that never full state all the time. So, just think. No sugar cravings. The first way that I um, dealt with that was to have more things like um, cashew butter, peanut butter, um, almond butter, like in my, um, uh, either mixed with, with yogurt, which I haven't had for a while, or um, in celery sticks. But I find now that I'm getting enough fat, so I don't. I don't even have an inkling towards a sugary item. It's not creeping back in. I'm not doing keto-friendly things with artificial um, sugars in them, on them, around them, just to um, get that sweet factor in. I know that if I was getting sugar cravings again, that that's a slippery slope for me. And um, so I'll have to increase my fats and, and get through it. Um, fortunately, I, I don't even see them when I go into that faraway grocery store and they have a bakery that's a quarter of the size of the store, and that doesn't include the bread, cookie, cracker, aisles. Um, it's amazing. I don't even see it anymore. And I have to walk through it to get to produce. Don't you love it? Yeah. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to go on a diet, so I'll get some broccoli and kale. But as I'm walking through here, I'm going to have one more food funeral item. The other benefits long term are for things like Alzheimer's, diabetes, and heart issues. So it's not going to show up overnight. It's just you're not going to get the word from your doctor that your lab tests have come back with elevated blood sugar or anything like that. So the two that I forgot to mention <laughs> that are almost, you know, within the fir first 30 days is the bloating goes away when your carbs are under 20. Yeah, I don't want to feel bloated. And the sugar cravings go away if you don't let your addict play with you. The addict is always going to be there dip, 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 picking away at you to get her way or his way. So the sugar cravings will go away. To me, it happened with the fat. It just happens. I don't want them. I don't want sugary items. I don't want to play the keto dessert game. And um, as Michelle Rock says, who lost 100 pounds, no keto desserts until you reach maintenance, and I love that. And by the time you reach your maintenance, you won't have a sugar craving, and you'll go, no, thank you. So, isn't that funny how that all works out so nice? Anyway, thanks, Pickles. I forgot. Should have written it down. Always, I'm not always sharp as a tack. Sometimes I could be the dullest knife in the drawer. It's true. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.